Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been asked to find the frequency of the input signal at which the magnitude of the output waveform is 95% of the input waveform. Now if you closely observe the circuit, then this portion of the circuit is the low pass filter while the output of the low pass filter is given to the op-amp circuit. And here the op-amp is configured in the non-inverting configuration. So let's say the output of this low pass filter is equal to Vx. So this Vx will be the input of this op-amp circuit. So this output voltage V out can be given as 1 plus Rf divided by R1 times Vx. Where here both Rf and R1 are 1 kilo ohm. That means V out is equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 1 times Vx. That means V out is equal to 2Vx. So this is the relationship between the V out and the Vx. So similarly, now let us find out the relationship between the V in and the Vx. So here this Vx is the output of this low pass filter. So here this voltage Vx can be given as 1 divided by j omega c divided by 1 divided by j omega c plus r times v in. So basically by applying the voltage divider rule we can find the value of this vx. That means we can say that the vx divided by v in is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus j times omega rc. So this is the relationship between the vx and the v in. Now here the ratio of V out by V in can be given as V out divided by Vx times Vx divided by V in, where Vx is the output of this low pass filter. So here we know that the V out divided by Vx is equal to 2, while the Vx by V in can be given as 1 divided by 1 plus j omega rc. That means magnitude of V out by V in is equal to 2 divided by square root of 1 plus omega square r square c square. And if we take the square on both sides then we can say that v out by v in whole square is equal to 4 divided by 1 plus omega square r square c square. Now here we need to find the value of the frequency f in a such a way that the magnitude of the output waveform is 95% of the input waveform. That means V out by V in is equal to 0.95. So here we can say that 0.95 square is equal to 4 divided by 1 plus omega square r square c square. Or in other words we can say that 1 plus omega square r square c square is equal to 4.432. That means omega square r square c square is equal to 3.432. Now here the value of R is equal to 10 kilo ohm while the value of C is equal to 10 nanofaraday. That means the RC time constant is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 second. So from this we can say that omega square is equal to 3.432 divided by R square C square. That means omega square is equal to 3.432 times 10 to the power 8. That means omega is equal to 1.852 times 10 to the power 4. Now we know that the omega is equal to 2 pi f. And from this we can find the value of the f. So from this we can say that the value of frequency is equal to 2.948 kilohertz. So at this particular frequency the magnitude of the output waveform will be the 95% of the input waveform. That means for the given question, the answer is 2.94 kilohertz.